Unable to withstand the continued political firestorm over her role in explaining the September attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Susan Rice has pulled her name out of contention to become the next Secretary of State. I didn't uh, want to uh, see a confirmation process that was very prolonged, uh, very politicized, uh, very distracting, uh, and very disruptive. The Benghazi attack killed Ambassador Chris Stevens and three other Americans. Rice went on TV and called the attack spontaneous, not terrorism. But Republicans accused Rice of a cover-up. This administration has either been guilty of colossal incompetence or engaged in a cover-up. John McCain led the charge to get Rice's selection torpedoed. At first, the president tried to use his political capital gained from his re-election last month to defend his longtime ally. For them to go after the UN ambassador, who had nothing to do with Benghazi, and was simply making a presentation based on intelligence that she had received, and to, to besmirch her reputation, is outrageous. But in the end, Obama and Rice decided the Republican criticism was too much. Lost in the uproar, the question of whether Rice was truly qualified for the job of Secretary of State. She's very, very hawkish, um, but uh, she sees that as, as being uh, the way to be to get advanced, and she almost got advanced to the very top. Susan Rice blamed partisan politics for killing her candidacy, but she will still play a key role in U.S. foreign policy as U.N. ambassador. Meantime, President Obama has a dilemma of his own, trying to find someone else to replace Hillary Clinton at the State Department and hoping he can get that person to pass muster with the U.S. Congress. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.